Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have yet a powerful word for you. These words that I speak are life. These words that I speak are going to help you. My brothers and sisters, I know some of you have things that are not working out in your life. You have been struggling with things that you cannot comprehend. You have been trying to maneuver through different projects, different opportunities, different uh, things, but nothing ever works out. It seems like whatever you touch, it falls to the ground. My brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that God will see you through victorious. Today's word is all eyes are on you. All eyes are on you. The eyes of your enemies are on you. They are on you. Even God is fixed on you. God is also mindful of you. In other words, his mind is full of you. God is watching over you. Yes, I know your enemies are also watching you with bad motives, with a bad intention, but also God is watching over you with good plans. Scripture says that he has plans for you. He has good plans for you, plans to prosper you, plans to give you a brighter future, to give you hope. God has good plans for you. I love the scripture that says, who is man that you are so mindful of? He thinks about you. He knows you. His walls, there's a scripture that says, his walls are continually. I mean, your walls are continually before him. You are inscribed on the palms of his hand. Wow. What an amazing word. That you, my brothers and sisters, not someone else, but you, you are inscribed on the palms of his hands. That is a powerful word to go home with when you feel like uh, what the, the world is all crashing on you. That is a powerful word to go with. When you feel like things are not happening your way, just know God's way will always prevail. His will over your life will prevail. No matter who watches you, I know some of you have haters that have been monitoring you from day one until now and some of you can actually feel it that someone is monitoring you you have that kind of sense where you can sense that something is not right something is not adding up you see i'll give an example of samson samson had people monitoring him he had eyes all over him in fact news had gotten to all the neighboring states the neighboring countries, in other words, that there was a strong man, that there was someone who was strong, a man who could defeat thousands of armies. What kind of strength is that? Hmm? What kind of strength is that? That it was in Samson. That he would get a gate he would pluck out a gate that even many people could not carry. He would put it on his back and climb the hill. That is power. God had given him physical power. Actually, even Samson was wise. A lot of people don't know. Just the fact that he was uh, fooled by Delilah, it doesn't mean that Samson was, was not wise. He was wise. He was a judge. To be a judge, you have to be wise. You have to make correct judgments. Just because he made a wrong judgment in regards to Delilah, he doesn't mean that he was not wise. A lot of people make wrong decisions. I'll give an example of uh, King uh, Solomon. Solomon was wise, actually. Those who read the scripture. He asked for wisdom, and God gave, granted him that wisdom. But it does not mean that in all his entire life, he did not make 
uh, bad decisions. He made bad decisions. For example, the women that he chose to marry. He had a lot of women, and these women actually were uh, a snare to him, so to say. They uh, kind of uh, brought him into problems. That is why, he, you see, he writes um, in the scriptures and he tells his son what he should do and what he ought not to do because he had seen it all under the sun. He had experienced all this thing and it's, he, he realized that it was vanity. He realized that the things of this world are vanity. And it's only God who matters. It is only God who is king over everything. That we should, we should pursue God and not the things of this world. So my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that eyes are on you. Look at David himself. Eyes were on him. Doesn't the scripture say that uh, when the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over Israel, they came out in full force to search over him? Some of you people have heard about you. They have heard what you have. And now they are monitoring you. Even Jesus' eyes were on him. Right when he was a little boy, King Herod sought to kill the king, the baby Jesus. Brothers and sisters, there are people who have tried to kill you, who have tried to eliminate you. They have been monitoring you right from your childhood. But I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, all their plans will not work. Some of them are monitoring your children. Yes. Whether you have children right now or whether you have children yet to come. Some of you may not have children right now, but time to come you're going to have children. And the enemy knows it. He knows the kind of kid that you have. Some of you will give birth to powerful men and women of God. And the enemy doesn't want that to happen. My brothers and sisters, the word I have for you is that God is still with you. Until next time, Shalom.